So next we are going to create another database. This time it will be in employee database with the table name will be employee and we will make all these columns that are right here different columns all the way to the other side so let's get started now you can see this is the date right here it's a date yeah there is no somewhere will be time date of leaving department name no this is an again date if you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't watched the previous video this is what we were talking about like different data types that needs to be we need to put for for the numbers we can go with integer and you know if we don't want anybody to enter any big um, number then you could go with the tiny int <clears throat> so it's like a total control of what data can be entered normally we go with the int big int decimal um, we do go with bit sometimes then we go with date time so we can if it's a field that can host both we can go with this one and character or variable character and finally we have text as well so for the new one I have two options I can either keep writing in here and you know whatever I run it will show on a different one but let's start it from a scratch I can go with new query I can have my own new window and we can work in there so first what we are doing is we are creating a database that's this name so if I go create create database what's the name e emp db right oh I should and then use emp db and so if I go here and it's giving me an error but if I go top so the reason is that we haven't run this one yet so if now if I press F5 it says come on successfully and you see here cricket DB if I go here now I'm in that database that I want to work in next we have to create a table that is this one employee so we can do create table what's the table name that will be employees but this time we can add ever all the uh, in this uh, the previous one let me see where it is yes in this one we first created one and then we alter and added more and this one we gonna create all of them in one go and just be done with it so let's start that so let's see employee number employee number that could be an int so next line we're gonna go with employee name that should be variable character and we can say it's 100 right so then we have gender for gender it can be character or variable character we can go with char and we can give it say 50 and we forgot commas everywhere so it should know that it's a new so now it should go birthplace so for birthplace I want to go with uh, variable character again hundred comma and DOB date of birth that's a date so we're gonna go with date right 
format and then we have current location location that should be variable character we go with designation and that could be character or variable character so let's go with say it's character date of joining that's date so it should be in date format salary so salary you always want it in decimal because even though uh, they are being paid a uh, whole value but there's a good chance so that's why we want it as decimal and some of them we can see here it's a three uh, six it's six figure so but not all of them will you know there's a good chance somebody could get be in there seven digits eight digit so if you remember we're not gonna put six we're gonna put we have to consider that uh, decimal point as well so I'm gonna go with actually nine dot two so so what happens is if somebody is making all of them in this database can be safely put in there but if there is a rare chance that somebody makes in the seventh figure then that should be accommodated by this one so department number you know it's always going to be integer department name will be in character or variable character look like we can get away with character and date of leaving so if somebody is leaving that's again date then it's uh, total experience total experience that should be in years and that you can see it could, it's in decimal so for decimal we can really really get away with four two four two the reason is there is hardly every anybody will make it to 99 years right it will be like somebody has been at work for 100 years so we can really get away with this one unless they're talking about in months yeah so we go with years and manager ID so manager ID we can see it's in integer and finally we have not finally second last we have the address field that definitely should be worker and we should give it a big <clears throat> and then we have bonus if the employee was ever paid bonus again bonus should be in decimal so we can see bonus goes up all the way to five figures in there so we can again put it seven two so or eight two I will go with the eight two just to be on the safe side and since it's the last one I don't have to put a comma but I do have to close the last the first bracket now if you can see <clears throat> now this one is highlighting this one but if I were to remove it it was highlighting this one these two and as soon as I end, add another one it's telling me which one it's closing and then I can put this that's it so now moment of truth let's run it and I have the command completed successfully it means that I entered everything correctly there it did not find any errors especially the syntax error so I'm good there now I can go SP uh, underscore help and my table name that is employees <coughs> uh, 
execute and I should set, get everything employee number you can see the first one employee name gender birthplace date of birth and it will say what it is integer variable character character variable character all that if I were to get the columns just the columns like these listed in uh, in columns so I can go with select star from employees and it's not case sensitive and you can see everything is listed like this so I'm done here I'm not gonna run the other two uh, that I ran in the last video about uh, select star form the information schema about tables and columns but that will give me the exact same uh, in here so this is how I successfully created databases and then create a table in it and then added column next we have to go with rows that is to insert these values into each row that will be next